An Opelousas woman who says she's legally blind is now facing a new challenge just getting to work. The elementary school teacher says she and her seeing eye dog are being attacked by dogs left loose in their neighborhood. Our Abby Breidenbach has more in tonight's top story. It's very important for me to have my guide dog. She's valuable and she's my security. But when a group of stray dogs approaches, Park Vista teacher Agnes Corville is no longer secure with just her guide dog for protection. In 10 weeks, I had um, seven attacks. Agnes says because she's legally blind, she can't drive or bike to school. Walking through the neighborhood is her only option. I have problem with uh, irresponsible owners who leave their uh, dogs uh, unattended without a fence, um, no, no collar and no leash. So the dog usually comes to my dog and my guide dog is submissive, so she's more prone to be attacked. She's also concerned for elderly residents and children in the neighborhood, so she took the issue to the council. It broke my heart hearing her story. It really did. And it, I'm pretty sure the entire council, the whole city of Opelousa, felt her pain. And she was just really speaking up for the entire city, not just herself. Councilman Glover says there are already rules in place that should fix this issue. If you have a dog that belongs to you and it's running around loose, you will be in jeopardy of getting a fine. He says the best thing neighbors can do is call 911 or the city when a dog is wandering without its owner. In Opelousas, Abby Breidenbach, KATC TV3.